Hey the guys, this is Midwest Boys. I'm going to show you just how to make a uh, birdshot into buckshot out of a 12 gauge. We're going to be using some fishing weights and I'll show you in a second how we're going to make it. You know how it was when it was basically low ammo in 2020? Well, I'll show you how to make it so you don't have to worry about your specific home defense rounds. So what we're going to want to do is buy some fishing weights. These are literally 97 cents a pack and you literally can make one or two shots out of these depending uh, the length of your shell. You can actually get different uh, types. Actually, there's number four if you look close and uh, number five. It really doesn't matter, but it looks to me slight be, it could be just the slightest bit hair bigger. It could be either the five is bigger or four. I like to use the four a lot. It really doesn't matter. They're pretty much the same. I definitely recommend using Federal. This is actually Remington. That's pretty much all that I have right now, except for this one single Federal. I kind of want to save it for something else. But uh, basically, I'll show you how to open it. So you open it actually with a old uh, screwdriver or whatnot, and you kind of grind it down to a little point or all or something. You basically stab right in the middle, and you pull all these little pizza-looking pieces actually all the way up, all the way around, figure out how to make it straight, and uh, I'll show you when it's open. There it is open. You don't want to open it completely uh, open all the way. You just want to keep it slightly open so it uh, works out pretty good. Just to give you an idea what a regular buckshot probably would, the number would be. They're probably not this small, but they're actually, there's nine or eight, eight or nine pellets in a regular store-bought buckshot. And that's the pile, what it looks like. But in a three and a half inch, you pretty much have almost as twice as much. We have 20 pellets right there in a three and a half inch. You probably can only fit about maybe, um, 10 depending on the size and a three and uh, three inch regular uh, 12 gauge so I put all those in there it looks like like I said you pretty much want to put one more um, to fill all the way up to that uh, that uh, wad you make sure it doesn't go over that wad yep it looks like it's good and now we're gonna close it right so basically I closed it and I put a sharpie marker just uh, so I can tell uh, myself exactly which one is which um, that it's buckshot so thanks for watching uh, basically um, that was just a real easy way how to make your buckshot. Um, hold on a second. I want to tell you one more thing. Um, basically, um, that's just another way how you can make your buckshot. Um, if you want to basically not make it store-bought or whatnot. And essentially, it is buying things from the store, but it is very effective. Um, the most thing that you want to do with this uh, shot is actually make sure that you are doing it correctly. So how do you do that is make sure there's no bumps sticking out majorly out of the shell and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time on middle boys